Hey sweeties, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today, sobrang excited na naman ako at parang gigil na gigil ako mag-film ngayong araw na to. Sobrang hype na hype na naman ako to be in front of the camera kasi sobrang excited ako. This is going to be my first time na itatry itong product na to na gusto kong ishare sa inyo. So ang gagawin ko ngayon is I will be reviewing another palette for you. And gagawang ko rin ng mga swatches and demo as well. I know alam nyo to. This is trending worldwide. So without further ado, I will be reviewing the James Charles by Morphe collaboration. And this is his first collaboration ever. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below para maging updated ka sa mga videos ko. So, yun guys, wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Let's get on to the video. So, ang gagawin kong look ngayon is yung blank canvas. Gagawin kong medyo iba yung eye look. So, ayun, gagawin ko yung gagawa ko ng sarili kong eye look using the colors. So, sasabi ni James Charles, mas maganda daw yung Morphe palette niya kung gagamitan mo ng eye primer instead of concealer. So, ang medyo magulo lang, no? Kasi nabasa ko na sabi daw pala ni Sister James is hindi siya masyadong naniniwala sa eye primer. So, Sister James, paki-explain bakit yung palette mo kailangan ng eye primer para mas maganda. So, gagamitin ko yung soft ochre ng MAC para i-prime yung eyes ko. Sundin na lang natin si Sister James because he knows best. Pero ako naman talaga, I believe in eye primers kasi kapag naka-eye primer ka, mas lalong nagpapap yung color ng mga eyeshadows at kumakapit silang mas okay pa yung pagkapit nila instead of using concealers. Ito siya, ito yung palette. So, yan makikita niyo si Sister James. Nasa, nandito siya sa front. Ito yung box niya, pinaka-box niya. And sa likod, nakalagay, Hi sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my palette. I love glam and blah blah blah. So, itong palette na to, I believe, this is the replacement for the 35B. Sobrang tagal ko nang hinahanap yung 35B na yun, kasi gusto kong mag-explore more on colors, pero hindi ko na siya mahanap. And gladly, lumabas ang collection ni Sister James. This is what the palette looks like. Sobrang laki niya. I never expect na ganito kalaki ang palette. Meron siyang protective film. Dito sa protective film na to, nakalagay yung mga pangalan ng each shades ng palettes. So, ang first shade na kukunin ko sa palette ay ang shade na Code James. It is a very warm, neutral brown shade and it's very perfect for transition shades and you have to be very careful because it's very pigmented so ang um, next shade na kukunin ko ay ang shade na love that and it's like the purpley pink color and ilalagay ko siya sa outer V ng eyes ko and itadrag ko siya upward just because hooded eye ang type ng eye ko and gusto ko medyo parang cut eye yung so before I um, forgot I have this one nabili ko siya sa Amazon so kung makeup artist ka very handy to kasi may lalagyan siya ng brush tapos ito yung brush sweeper so para kung gusto mong yung brushes gamitin mo ulit sa ibang color, isi-sweep mo lang siya tapos um, malinis na siya ulit. Old. So, the next shade that I will be taking is the shade Single. And ito yung parang light purple shade. And I will be blending that with Love That shade. So, it's okay kahit na yung paglagay nyo ng shadows is mapunta sa eyelids nyo. Kasi later on, ikakat crease ko naman siya. So, it's fine kahit medyo maging messy. So, I will be taking Escape. It is a much dark, darker purple. And I will be blending that between Love That and Single. Single. 
So, wait guys, meron akong mga nakikitang fallout. So, I have to put a little bit of setting powder under my eyes para makatch na yung mga fallout. Tapos, i-sweep na lang natin later on. So, this shade is Cola. It was more like a cool blue color and I'm just putting it in to the inner corner and I'm blending it together with the purple and pink shades that I put on earlier. The next shade that I'll be taking is the shade Playground and this is a very bright blue color and I'm just putting that into the inner area of the shades that we blended together. I will be taking more of cola and I will be blending that between the bright blue and the purple shade escape that we used earlier. I will now cut my crease and ang gagamitin kong pangkat ng crease ko is my favorite brush ever for my brow bone and also for cutting the crease. It's the JH42. Sobrang liit lang niya. So, it's very, very precise kapag ginamit mo siya for cutting your crease. I recommend that you get a brush like um, this small because um, this is very good for cutting the crease and it was very precise. So, I'm just um, like doing a cut crease and shaping it like a cat eye because that's what I want to achieve in this look. So I'm using concealer for the cut crease just so we know how the shadows perform when using it. So I cut na yung um, crease area natin so we will be moving on with um, the eyeshadow. So lalagyan natin ng eyeshadows yung empty area na yan. Yung so I'm gonna be using the shade You're Kidding and wow, I'm amazed with the shade. Sister James, you're kidding. This is the best red eyeshadow I have ever used. This is the best red shade ever. It's so pigmented and it's a really true red eyeshadow. So I'm just putting that shade in the outer corner of my eyes of my cut crease and blending that in, in and now motion. moving on with my most awaited part i am so excited to use this color right here this is the shade b and i wanted to test um how bright it was it's so yellow in the brush Did you guys see the pigment? Sobrang ganda ng pagkayelo niya. Sobrang bright talaga. There are a lot of fallouts sa yellow na shade. Merong fallouts dito sa um, eyelashes ko. Tapos pero na rin dito sa baba. I'm impressed, sister. I am impressed, sister. Sobrang impressed na impressed ako. Pero marami nga lang fallout. And then, I'm gonna be taking this orange shade called 518. And I just put it between the yellow and the red shade. And then, of course, I'm blending that in. So we have that gradient effect going on with our eyes. And then for my um, lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the shade Love That and just put that on the outer corner of the on lower lash line and then taking Rusted and we'll be putting that on the center of the lower lash line and then we'll be taking the shade Social Blade which is like this bright green and very pretty and I'll put that on my inner tear duct. So I'm done with the eye look and I will be finishing the rest of it including the eyeliner and as well as the mascara and the false lashes and I will be back so we can do the blank canvas part. So tapos ko na yung whole look. So ito na yung complete look. Kulang na lang yung blank canvas. 
Diba, fast forward ko na lang dun sa part na um, ginagawa ko yung blank canvas sa look. And then, I will be back for my thoughts. So, ang gagamitin ko for the blank canvas is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation, yung white mixer. And, iwa-wipe off ko yung some parts ng foundation na nilagay natin kanina para hindi mag-mix yung white and yung foundation ko. So, maglalagay lang ako sa leg ko. And then, yung mga parts na wipe off ko kanina, lalagyan ko siya. And, I'm not worrying about it being streaky kasi yun yung gusto natin i-achieve na look para parang bin rush out talaga yung face natin. So here's the final look in 3, 2, and 1. guys, I'm back. So, how do you like the finished look? Ako sobrang gustong gusto ko to. And I get to create my blank canvas. And I use this one. LA Girl Pro Coverage. Ito yung pang mix nila sa foundation. So, ito na nga yung thoughts ko about the palette. As always, kailangan may thoughts tayo at maging magpakaanis tayo sa kung ano bang tingin natin sa palette na ito. My first concern about the palette is yung packaging niya. Yung packaging is cardboard, which is protective when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. Pero since this is an artistry palette, it gets really dirty easily. Sobrang na-impress naman ako with the pigment at sobrang ganda naman ng formula. Yun nga lang, um, Yun nga lang, may mga shadows na nag-sustain. Yun yung karamihan dito sa mga purple shades na to. At yun yung isa sa mga naging controversy with James Charles, yung pag-stain ng shadow. Pero so far, hindi naman nangati yung mata ko. And hindi naman ako nagkaroon ng allergic reactions, which is good. Also, may mga fallouts nga. So, it is better if you um, use a setting powder on under your eye kung inuuna mo palagi yung foundation mo or if inuuna mo naman yung eyeshadow mo, mo it's fine for you pero the pigmentation is nice is a swatch ko lang sa inyo yung some of the some of my favorite shades ito yung isa yung B so ito siya diba sobrang pigmented niya although kailangan mong i-build up yung color kasi nga Yun ang sabi ni James, uh, nagpakaanas siya sa um, swatches niya, kailangan yung i-build up yung color. And also, isa pa sa mga nagustuhan ko ay itong shade na You're Kidding. Ito siya. Yan. Sobrang true yung pagka-red niya and pigmented din siya. May mga kickback din pero it's so nice. Isa pa sa mga nagustuhan color is itong shade na 518 which is a bright orange shade o sobrang interested din ako dito sa shade na spooky ito yung black very black siya pero ito medyo um, hindi siya like hindi one swipe black na black agad pero you have to build the color up for this tree, ito yung purple shade. Hindi ko siya nagamit sa video, pero I love how the shade looks. Hello? Ito yung parang light blue. Yan. Hindi ko rin siya nagamit, pero yan. So far, ito yung mga nagustuhan kong shades sa palette. This palette costs $39 for 39 colors and it's basically a dollar each for, um, this palette so everything you need for completing a look is nandito na um, completing the eye look is nandito na may mga colored shades ka may 
purple, may pink, may blue, may green, may reds, and also meron ka ditong neutral shades kung gusto mo lang medyo neutral yung look mo. I believe merong mga online stores na nagsisell pero be careful kasi minsan baka ang sinisell nila sa mga fake. So you have to be alert in everything you do and especially online shops. Yun lang guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and hope na magstay kayo sa channel ko. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification down below so you get updated whenever I posted a new video. So yun lang guys. Thank you for watching.